Ladies and gentlemen, fellow YouTubers, how y'all doing? This is the Unexpected Wonder. And y'all, we come in here with one of the funnest discussions I believe anyone can have. We talking aliens. That's right. Aliens. Extraterrestrial life. Life outside of the planet Earth. Now, I've been confronted, asked this question many times by many different people. One, for one, I'm a, as a Christ follower. And two, as a dude who talks about plenty of things. So I believe it's that time to get my views and my understanding upon the subject to the people out there. For the people. For the word for the public let us go now look here first of all the Bible it doesn't talk about aliens it doesn't deal with aliens nowhere in the Bible said does it say aliens do not exist okay the Bible deals with human affairs it deals with planet earth that's what it is and what it ain't humans and earth Mother Earth, Mother Nature. It deals with that. Okay? So, for for anyone who tries to go biblically and say aliens don't exist, that's just, don't don't even listen to that foolishness. Just, 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 just discard that. Now, logically, let's look at it. Scientifically, the probability for extraterrestrial life, life existing on other planets or another planet, is a very high probability. Well, other uh, the probability for other sentient beings other beings like ourselves who have a high level of thought you know complex thought you know you got your logic reasoning all that moral reason all that there you know whether they be less intelligent than us or more intelligent than us the probability is high not very high but it's just high there, there's a high probability now, here's where the kicker goes, usually. The probability that there is life like ours, like what we have on planet Earth, is a very low probability. Very low. Why is that? First of all, liquid water, water that exists in the liquid state, which we see very abundantly on planet Earth, is a very is a rarity throughout at least the known universe. We've only found, secondly, we've only found, scientists have only found a few planets with the possibility of life as we know it. So, so let's just, let's just assume that if, if there is life out there in our universe, um, that it, it, first of all, the likelihood of it breathing oxygen as we do, nah, don't, don't even think about that. I mean, first of all, life, I mean, the very, the, Creatures, the creatures, if we see creatures, they will be very much different from what we see here on planet Earth. Now, we have a wide variety on planet Earth, so for, so for that being said, you know that that's huge. Secondly, what I, what I generally see as likely being the forms of life, as, you know, the, at least the most populous, is we have, you know, algae-like, grass-like um creatures beings you know that can survive and almost anything grow almost anything with you know not much requirements i may see some like some like mushroom spores type creatures that grow in say the very dark um um environment uh atmosphere all that you know takes uh takes some creatures you know because there's very gassy um planets so maybe you know, they, it, there's going to be a lot of differences if we find life outside of the planet Earth, you know. When, when we look at it, these creatures, first of all, a lot of them are going to have to deal with very cold and or very dark, you know, very extreme cold and very extreme dark um, planets. And on the flip side, very hot and very bright, um, extremely hot, extremely bright uh, planets, you understand? So... You know, but like I said, we, we've only found very, you know, there's only, okay, first of all, our knowledge is very limited for a few reasons. We've only just within the last 
hundred years sent out radio signals. We've only we're only as able with our satellites go as far as we can see with light. We are only in a fixed portion of the of our galaxy, let alone universe. So the likelihood of us, the likelihood of us finding, you know, life is is going to be difficult. And we know the science knows that the universe is constantly expanding. So, you know, we, we presented plenty of problems. Now, moving on. With Aliens, there, there's been a show, Ancient Aliens, I watch it sometimes on the History Channel. And plenty of other shows and plenty of discussions. With Aliens coming to Earth. First of all, I do not believe, honestly, I find it, it unhistorical, ahistorical, you know. I don't, I don't see humans coming to Earth. I mean, not humans coming to Earth. Aliens coming to Earth early in Earth's uh, human history. I don't see it. Earth history, human history, just don't see it. Humans being an experiment of aliens, just don't see that either. Okay? Just, it's, it just, until I'm given, you know, I've heard some decent theories, but until I'm given some, some better theories, I, I'm, I'm going to hold that off as now. Now. You, you got to help me out better than what I've heard. Um, hu uh, aliens in human affairs. First of all, I'm of the belief on a lot of people. Why the hell? Why why would aliens honestly want to deal with Earth? Want to deal with humans? Shoot, if I'm an alien, I don't want to deal with humans. I see how destructive they are. How aggressive we could be. You know, this 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 species of Homo sapiens could be. Uh uh. How uh how how much we destroy Mother Earth? You know, Mother Nature. No, they probably don't want anything to do with us. Secondly, you know, trying to contact them. For all we know, for all we know, they may be using ultraviolet light regularly, gamma rays regularly. This is at the type of uh, the top of the electromagnetic spectrum. And for those who don't know, look it up. Okay, too much time to, to explain all that. Um, they may you be using other forms of technology we didn't even we couldn't even think imagine possible at this point. You know, so for us, you know. All we know is they may be dumb. Maybe they don't bear or still at Stone Age technology. What you you all don't understand that no history know what that is. You know they may, you know they may want to keep isolated. We don't know. We don't know. There could there's so many possibilities. There is so many possibilities, and maybe we just wouldn't be able to communicate with them anyway. Now moving on to another wonderful subject with this whole alien. Uh, category matter discussion parallel universes I have said it many times before don't believe in parallel universes I believe in parallel dimensions and I'll explain the difference okay parallel universes the whole wormhole theory no not buying it not buying it first of all first of all why is there a need for parallel universes or multiple or multiple universes our universe is as big already is <laughs> probably be we won't even understand the size of our universe that that's a likelihood okay why does there need to be multiple universes to me that's just overkill especially the fact that if we're the only ones we we actually end up being the only sentient beings in the universe our planet's the only one that has life dude some about overkill why is there a need for multiple universes why you know the the science that they try to use is is shoddy at best it's shoddy at best there is no science really behind multiple universes parallel dimensions oh you want to talk about the scientific historical and philosophical problems that parallel universes present for those who don't know look it up too much time to to uh to try to explain all that all right now parallel dimensions on the other hand we're talking about impossible you know, some some want to say parallel universes. We won't be able to. I I don't buy that. I don't buy that jazz. I don't buy that. Parallel means you you know that's how it is. You know the whole branch theory where you can go off and where every decision somebody makes produces. I, I it's just it's too many problems. But parallel dimensions. We talk about you know life in a whole nother realm. We talk about the physics are completely different. We are talking about. The beings look completely different. For all we know, for all we know, this is just, this might sound crazy. For all we know, in a parallel dimension, dragons exist, unicorns exist, 
elves exist, fairies exist, giants, trolls, for all we know. Because a parallel dimension, we're talking about something completely different. It, see, with parallel universes and multiple universes, we deal with physics, at least in some ways as we know. We deal with quantum mechanics, quantum physics, you know. But here's the thing. Even our current knowledge is quite limited. And here's why. We have an entity known as, we have things, natural phenomena, known as black holes. Black holes expose our limited knowledge because neither physics nor quantum mechanics, which is quantum physics, uh, quantum mechanics deals with very small things. Black holes just a day, day of some other thing. So for that being said, you know, our, our knowledge is limited. But like I said, parallel universe, you know, I mean, not parallel, you know, parallel dimensions where some, you know, totally different laws, totally different physics, totally different mathematics. Yeah, I see possible. But at the end of the day, like I said, aliens, high probability. Will we ever meet them? Don't know. Don't know. Maybe after death and an afterlife. Don't know. I think, I, hey, personally, I would want to. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Pers one of the coolest things ever. If there's other sentient beings, you know, build a greater civilization, build a galactic civilization, help a brother out, you know, help us out, you know, help us finally calm the hell down, understanding, you know, I think that uh, another race would, um, would calm humans down a bit, you know. They wouldn't be so hostile towards one another, be so prejudiced. But here's the thing, and that, this will lead on to my final point. I have, I love science, and I love scientific exploration, exploration. But here's the kicker. If you want to have all this costly scientific research, which I, I'm all for, man, I love it. Love it next much as the next guy. But we have so many people dying of preventable diseases, uh, preventable conditions. We're talking about starvation, you know, dying of thirst with all the drought, you know, uh, because they don't have a place to go to the bathroom. Dying of poverty. Yo, we, we got to, you know... Going to the going to Mars is cool and everything, but it does not supersede the need for planet Earth. Let's deal with our own first, then let's let's continue. Or why are we doing the the scientific research and exploration of life and everything else? Let's make sure people are provided for. You understand? If that happens, okay, maybe aliens do show up. Maybe they like us. They trying to search. We just, they don't know how to find us either. There's many possibilities. But do, uh, at the end of the day, like I said, do I believe them? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, most definitely. I believe there's a high possibility that aliens exist. Extraterrestrials. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts on aliens. I'm very interested. I'm very, I love, like I said, it's one of the funnest discussions you can have. Um... Yo, send me some video, uh, video responses. Send me some uh, video requests. I'm, 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 I'm open, y'all. Just no foolishness, like I've said before. But I'm very open to, you know, for discussions. That's just what I do. Uh, this is the unexpected one. I help y'all have a beautiful day. Peace.